Hello my brothers and sisters, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing just fine. So, last time I mentioned about high inflation in Syria loan and how Syria loanians are struggling to buy basic foodstuff like common bread or rice or vegetables, right? So, they were fed up and they thought it that they had to do something in order for their government to really hear their cry. You know, like in Africa, our leaders don't like it when we tell them things nicely. When you say something to them in a very friendly manner, in a very calm manner, in a very nice way, they don't like it. They don't take it seriously. But when you say it to them the hard way, when you protest, then they know you are serious. And then they will get up and try to fix it. So Syrianians went to the street on a protest because they thought that if they didn't do it, their authorities wouldn't hear their cry and won't attend to their problems. So they went to the street and put this. I, for one, think that it was a good thing. Protesting is a civil right. If you think that things are not going the way you expected, or the leaders are not taking your problems seriously, you have the right to protest so that they can hear you out. That was what the Syrianians did. And their president went on air to talk about the issue. And there's one thing in Africa that I don't understand. Why is it that when people protest about things they believe needs to be done, why is it that their leaders always brand them as terrorist or as insurgent? Can people just be protesters who are protesting against something they think is not being done correctly? Before I continue, I want you to watch this video. And while you're watching this video, I want you to give it some thought if Mr. President here is saying the right thing. So, watch the video. What are they saying, the security experts and the ministers in charge of the situation, about the underlying and overt causes of the violence? Well, it could be political. And I think that is the thought at the moment. Um, they have been putting pressure to come out and uh, protest. Of course, uh, what happened yesterday was definitely not a protest. Um, it was uh, terrorism at the highest. We have um, a few Sierra Leoneans who live in the diaspora who have threatened to unleash terror on Sierra Leone on, on several occasions. They will incite unemployed youths on this part in the country. And uh, on several occasions, we've had these uh, episodic eruptions of violence. In the other time, it was in Lonsa, another town. And another time, it was in Makeni, Tombo. And we've lost lives in most of these instances. You say unemployed youth, which actually is an indication, isn't it, that people actually do have genuine reasons for anger, for, for feeling that they're not being heard and that their lives are becoming more and more difficult. So pointing to agitators seems to be denying that reality of Sierra Leonean youth and Sierra Leonean people in general. Definitely. There's hardship. We have unemployment. Uh, uh, but most of the youths are unemployed. We do uh, sympathize with their situation. And as a government, we have done quite a lot to address that situation. The free quality education, which involves technical education at all district levels, is all meant to 
empower them to be able to employ themselves or to be to make them employable. Uh, we are doing quite a lot to empower them in that direction. We've made education, access to education free so that everybody is empowered. So my brothers and sisters, you guys have heard what Mr. President Ye have said. He branded protesters as terrorists, as insurgent trying to drag the country into the mud. But he forgets to understand that Syria alone is facing high inflation. Syria alone is facing unemployment and people are really suffering. So if people are suffering, don't they have the right to protest? Don't they? Yeah, they have the right to protest. If you have done your job as Mr. President to calm down inflation and to create more jobs for Syria Leoneans, will they be protesting? So my brothers and sisters, people should learn to own up to their responsibilities. Every one of us should learn to accept our errors. If we did something wrong, we should accept it and find a way out. We should avoid shifting blames or apportioning blames on others and then putting ourselves as the victim. It's not good to play the victim card. Syria alone has a lot of problems. Mr. President, fix these problems. That is your job. That is the reason why taxpayers are funding all your bills. That is the reason why you are the first citizen of the nation. That is the reason why you enjoy first class of every single thing in the nation. So you also must carry the burden of the nation. Fix the unemployment in the nation, fix the high inflation in the nation. And when you do this, the people will be happy. They will be calm. They will live happily and they won't protest. But if you keep on saying they are terrorists and they are insurgent trying to drag the country into the mud and you do not fix the problems, that made them go into the street, they will still go into the street and they will still protest. So fix the problems and everyone will be happy. So my brothers and sisters in Syria alone, please share your thoughts with us. How is the inflation in your country? How has it affected you, your relatives, and the people in your community. Share your opinions and thoughts with us. We would love to hear what you have to say. And to all my fellow Africans, okay, all my fellow Pan-Africanists, what do you think about the, the comment made by the president of Syria alone, where he said that those who were protesting are terrorists? Do you think his statement or comment is fair and just let us know in the comment section below like always we would love to hear from you so thank you very much and see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>